Wrestler David here with you for another video, guys. This one is called Before and After. What do you do before a person grabs you, holds you, attempts to pull a weapon out of you, and then what do you do after? Every technique has a before and has an after. Most people practice the after. Okay, I'm gonna bring Kenny in here, and now we're gonna show you what I'm talking about. We have defense against like a one hand grab. Now, I'm gonna deal with that. This is after, because he might grab me and start punch, punching me. Now I gotta deal with that, that because it's after. But, motion, causes motion. Once again, alluding back to the 21 laws and alluding back to the 10 commandments of self-defense. Because this is one of those things that are in both. It's in the 10 commandments of self-defense and it's in the 21 laws of street self-defense. Everything is motion, causes motion. Every style, every system, every discipline has it. Every street fight has it. So now he's walking to me. I see him. I see him doing that. I see the hand coming out to grab me. But most of us stay in disbelief and let the man grab us. And then we're like looking in his eyes and then we got to deal with that. But if you can master your emotion, which is another one of the 21 laws, and I see it coming to me, boom, boom, I can walk right off what we call the floating hand. The hand is floating in midair. So while it's floating in midair, I attack the attacker. It's floating to grab me. I attack it. I don't do this. Because you remember, watch the video, the red glove. So what I did was attack the attacker and then I dealt with the floating hand. Once I said blam, the hand was floating in midair, so I deal with it. He's a boom, oh, I boom. And then now I work from that point on because the hand is floating. I see the hand floating, boom. That time I came, I went to the outside. That time, if it's tight quarters, I'm coming right into the inside. I see the hand floating, but back. I check that hand, well, to make sure that that hand don't strike me. That's the before. But what about the after? As soon as he grabbed me, guys, my main concern ain't that hand anymore. You see, my main concern was the hand when it was before. But it's not my concern when he grabs me. That hand's my concern now. Because that's the hand that's going to do me damage. This one now is occupied. Does that make sense to you, Kenny? Yes, it does. Does that make sense to you guys out there? Why pay attention to this? Then he starts bragging me with that. So once he has the after, you cannot pay any attention to that. Because the most I can do is shove you backwards when he's shoving you or pull you in. That's all he could do with that hand. Shove you backwards or pull you in. So the hand that's, I gotta worry about is that hand. Guys, I hope you're paying attention. I'm breaking it down here. I'm trying to teach you something that works and something of value. Pay attention. So now, I don't wait for him to poke me in the eye or do none of that crap. Here, once he grabbed me, now I understand that's the hand that's gonna do me damage. So either I catch it, before, when he grabs me, before that hand comes up, I check it and I walk into it. See, before he uses it, he grabs me, I check the hand. I check it, because as soon as you grab me, I check the hand that can do me damage. You understand? Because while I did this, if he tries to muscle this one back to me, then, boom, I use my feet, and I got it. If he don't muscle it to me when I check the hand, I work off the hand. Boom, boom, whack. 
Let me show you that again because I know you didn't see it. Once I check the hand, I work off the hand. Boom, boom. I keep him busy. I keep him busy with this hand. Hey, 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 hey. I keep him busy. I don't have to. I don't have to. Kenny, do I have to hit you hard when I did this? No, not at all. Did I have to hit you hard when I do, when I do this? Do, no, that, do, I, do I have to cause a lot of pain no. to be effective? Please and tell he, them. And if he grazes my eyes, which he did, softly, but it still was effective. Last thing I'm thinking about is hitting him. So all I have to do is this, 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 this. That gives me this, 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 this. So I do this to this to this to this to this to that to this. Hold on. Wow. Guys, this is powerful. Here's another before and after. Okay? Body grab. So the man comes up and wrestles, try to wrestle you to the ground. You want to deal with that? You want to deal with that? See, that's after. Different set of skills. Take more skills to deal with the after of that. But here's the before. There he comes. Here's the before. How many times you see guys go, Big guys, ah! and he want to grab you and then lift you up, slap you to the ground. So now I'm seeing the before. Soon as I see his hands come, whoa! I do it. It's tight. I do a punch, push kick, and I keep myself tight because when it, when he's coming in like that, like that, whoa! Now I'm gonna start moving my hands so I can understand to change the vision. Once again, I'm attacking either vision, breathing, or balance. So I see him red, yo! Now I attack the vision. This is the breathing. Now this is the vision. Now this is the balance. That's the before. That's the before. Now, the after. If he's coming to grab me, I gotta grab him. I have to grab him. Because if I allow him to straighten my body up, now he got me. Now he has me. If he allows my body or catches me to do this, straight, straight, he wins, I lose. So when I see him coming, I have to assume a bent position so I could grab him, so I could be balanced, so he can't lift me up, which will allow me to, when he grabs me now, there's no way for him to grab me without putting his neck or face there. So immediately when I feel him squeezing my back, I bite his ear like this and I rip into his ear and neck. What else can I do? I'm not a grappler. I'm not going to sit here and have strategical games with him, feeling who knows who, try to take him out, hook in the inside. I'm going to hook the inside leg. I'm going to hook the outside leg. I, I'm, not, I, I'm not doing that outside. All I know is when he grabs me, he has to position his face either on this side or he has to position his face on the other side. Only two choices he got, this side or this side. And that's all I need to know. Which side is his face and head on? And when he grabs me, if it's this side, I bite this face. If it's the other side, I bite this face. All I want to do is bite enough to mess his head up. So when I do this, ah, it'll loosen him up for me to attack his vision again. For me to make move him out, got my arm bars there. Those are more technical things, but I want to set him up. That's a before and an after. Now let me show you with a weapon. Let me ask you a question. Guys, I hope you're paying attention, man. I'm giving you a lot of information here in a very small package. So I hope you appreciate it. Guy has a weapon in his waist. 
Sometimes guys will come up to you and flash it. Yo, yo, what you gonna do? And they'll show you they got a weapon. A guy did that to me. Now, let me ask you a question. Is it easier to deal with it when it's in his waist? Or is it easier to deal with it when it's in your face? Which one? You see, that's the before. And that's the after. See, there's a before and after and everything. So now, he's talking to me. Motion causes motion. I know he got the gun. He showed it to me. And now he tries to reach for it. I'm going to work from that motion. I'm going to work from the motion that he grabs it. I'm going to pin. I'm going to attack. See? But I don't want to push him away because he's going to pull away and shoot me. So what do I do? I got to get him to stay the same place without pulling out the gun. So how do I achieve that goal? Once again, when I have a discussion, I see him reach this, that, boom. What did I do? Pin the weapon, interrupt the vision, shock him in the groin, bit air, I'm holding on to that hand with the gun. He has to pull this, this way to pull the gun out. I don't allow that to happen. Why? Wow. After I did this and I blasted his groin, the weapon's still gotta come out this way. So I take my leg and push his leg that way. Now, all he's thinking about is balance. Once that arm comes out like that, I pull that arm out, snap. He's never gonna shoot that weapon. Why? For some of you think, oh, he's gonna shot you. Okay, let's go through this slowly. You could have shot, I pinned the arm, I poked the eyes. You ain't shooting nobody. I blast the groin. Your hands are on your groin. You ain't shooting nobody. I blow your kneecap up. You ain't shooting nobody. The gun is already on the ground at that point. See how Kenny's hand is? If I see it there, I'll stomp on his hand. Elbow. I extend the elbow, and now I push the elbow down, snap the elbow. You ain't shooting anyone. And guys, if the gun goes off, it ain't going off towards him. Now, let me show you the after. Now he gets the gun out and puts the gun in your face. Guys, if I can teach you anything, please allow me to teach you this. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Push it, control it, and attack this man with everything you have. It's in your face. Push it out of the way, control it, attack, 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 attack. Very simple. It's called push, control, attack, 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 attack. Push, control, Attack and always, if possible, always gun is in your face, work to the outside. It's easier. Don't be macho and try to work to the inside. You got to work a lot harder. Just let him put the gun in your body, in your face. You're going to the outside. All you got to push and control attack. Attack. The gun is on the, look, look where the gun is, on the outside of me. Push it, control it, and attack. I hope you appreciate some of the before and after, and I really hope that it helps you. Guys, we want to keep making content like this for you. So you need to. Listen, guys, we need you right now to push. We want you to push that like button. We want you to push that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Guys, and remember, live fit and stay safe. To another level.